yeah so welcome back guys uh, this is madho pvil and as a part of my peer mentoring uh, i need to just make a video vlog on this particular topic which is greedy layer greedy layer wise uh, pre training so let's get started so now uh, we need to just discuss an introduction about this particular topic so as we all of us know deep learning is a part of machine learning where it is used for creating neural networks and also for making some decision decisions and also it is used in uh, various factors like image recognition and also voice recognition and any uh, other stuff uh, normal one so deep learning has become a very popular technique uh, whereas in that image recognition nlp and speech recognition are a parts of it so um, training deep neural networks can be challenging due to the issues uh, and pre training is a technique that can help overcome these challenges by initializing the weights of a network and then in that pre training concept we got something like greedy layer wise pre training so what is meant by a uh, greedy layer wise pre training and uh, we are just going to see in this particular presentation so the advantages of pre training include faster convergence better generalization and the ability to handle large data sets and then uh, if you just see the background like um, the person he is the person who had invented this particular greedy layer wise pre training he is a uh, oshua benjio sir and his colleagues in 2006 Uh, as a method to pre-train deep neural networks so the whole thing of this particular topic is nothing but it is useful only for the deep neural network so the way in which we can uh, uh, produce optimal solutions using deep learning neural networks so the technique involves training each layer of a neural network as a separate auto encoder and using the output of each encoder as an input to the next layer we can just say like uh, if we just consider one particular object and if we just try train it we'll get an another output so we'll just consider that as x dash so x will be the input and x dash will be the output and we'll remove the x and we'll take the x dash so like that we uh, train so many things and we'll combine all those outputs and we'll produce a greedy uh, layer wise pre training so it's gained popularity in the early 2010s and particularly in the field of computer vision and also takes uh, image classification and object detection over time the popularity of a greedy layer wise pre training has uh, waned somewhat as other technologies such as transfer learning and self supervised learning has um, gained traction i mean uh, they just change this whole uh, view and then uh, if you just see the working principle as i said before each layer of a network is trained as a separate auto encoder so weights of remaining layers are fixed where the current layer is trained this minimizes reconstruction and error between the input and output so output of each layer is used as an input to the next layer so pre training helps network learn, learn hierarchy of features so hierarchy can be used for downstream tasks like classification and regression so in this way the output of a one particular um one, one particular encoder will just combine and make some other stuff so this is a step wise explanation for a greedy greedy layer wise of pre training and uh, if we just see here these are some of the pictorial representations and we can also see like architectures of that particular thing so i just collected them from different uh, research papers and uh, ppts so here we can see the greedy layer wise pre training by sebastian ruder so here we can just say like um so its training of that particular thing is done when we apply this deep learning uh, it it is getting reduced like the way in which the error recognition occurs so if it is 100% then uh, we can't just predict the output so if uh, by using the deep learning uh, concepts we are just reducing the error and also we were able to um, do this greedy layer wise pre training and um, gain the concept of so, so we can just uh, tell the error rate so we can just consider the output so in this way greedy layer wise uh, training of a deep networks by hoshua benjio so he is also say, telling the same thing this could be top level of another sensory pathway so he is just considering this as a 500 500 units and is making these 500 500 units are nothing but uh, when some activation function is given to this particular 2000 level units so it is going to produce some outputs and the combination of outputs will just produce a pixel image of 2828 uh, size and also here we can just see a fast fast learning algorithm for deep belief nets by 
so deep learning with a no pre training so this is a deep learning deep learning with no pre training and dbn with the partial supervised pre training so this will be partial supervised pre training and this is unsupervised pre training so here we can just see like uh, with the partially supervised pre training it is gaining more score than that of the remaining things so in this way the architecture of this particular concept works and also the applications are the image recognition so greedy layer wise pre training has successfully applied to image recognition tasks such as object detection segmentation and classification so pre training allows for the learning of robust features so nlp so pre training with greedy layer wise pre training has been shown to be effective for a range of nlp tasks including language modeling machine translation and sentimental analysis the pre training helps the model to learn semantic and synthetic features of language so speech recognition is nothing but pre training with a greedy layer wise pre training has also been applied to speech recognition tasks the pre training allows the model to learn acoustic and phonetic features which can then be fine tuned on specific speech recognition tasks overall greedy layer wise pre training has shown promise in a wide range of applications and has been uh, particularly effective in domains where large amount of data are available so these are the some examples of applications and advantages are nothing but it improves the accuracy of that particular pre training model so with the use of greedy layer wise pre training we can improve the accuracy and the range of that particular tasks and faster training time so pre training can speed up the training process by initializing the model with good weights and reducing the number of epochs so transfer learning pre trained models can be fine tuned for specific tasks and limitations are increased computational costs uh, as uh, we need to even check out the costs of that particular training as the number of epochs gets increased the training cost may also get increased and the number of neural networks will also get increased need for large amount of data greedy layer wise pre training requires a large amount of data which can which can be unpredictable so these are the limitations and advantages so in conclusion i can just say like greedy layer greedy wise pre training is a powerful technique for improving the performance of a deep neural networks while the technique doesn't have some limitation does have some limitations uh, but uh, it benefits more than compared to the remaining other methods so overall greedy layer wise pre training as a key contributor to the success of a deep learning and its importance is like to continue to grow as a field advances so researchers and pra pra practitioners continue to develop and refine the technique it undoubtedly continue to play a crucial role in enabling the deep neural networks to take increasingly complex and challenging tasks so this is all about the thing and uh, uh, if possible i will just try to do a code implementation of this particular thing but until now this is a part of lecture so i think you may have some questions and uh, i have answers you can just ask it in the comments uh, or you can just message me so thank you for giving me this opportunity